Hey everyone, just a quick video to show some modifications I've done to my Harbor Freight tire changer. This is the bigger version. Um, I was using it as is, the way you get it, for a while. I mean, I probably did a couple dozen tire changes, mostly dismounts, um, but it started breaking uh, in a few different places. One of the first things that broke was the uh, the little pin that goes through right there. So I was using a stubby screwdriver in the, the lug holes, but most of the time when I'm doing tires, it's for a Volkswagen. So it's either a four by 100 or five by 100. So what I did was uh, this one right here is one that goes for either a four by 100 or a five by 100 wheel. So you'll just, uh, Put that on there. Line up with one of your holes. I, I don't have this bolted down to anything yet. This actually isn't my garage, so I can't bolt it to the ground. I have uh, another something planned. So you take, uh, take one of your lugs, drop it in. And what I did on the bottom, uh, since uh, it's something like an M12 by 1.5, um, isn't a very common thing to find a, a bolt, so I just threaded some some round bar and uh, made little weld on. Let's see if you can see what's going on. Yeah, welded on a couple little, and I have a, a few various different lug patterns, and then you just get that in place. And I never liked the whole thing that way in the center um, actually here's here's what's left of mine after the last couple times I used it it was destroyed um, it ruined the bottom of the other piece so I took an idea from what the coats uh, I think it's the coats 310 that they use at junkyards um, well they have cone so I turned down the cone this is just something I had in, on hand. I'd like to go a uh, much bigger uh, diameter and go on a steeper angle to be able to use it for a bunch of different sizes. Right now, I'm just using it for, for these Volkswagens. They fit fine. Drop it in there, and that'll center the wheel. And like I said, I destroyed the bottom of this, so I cut a little bit off, and I welded on a... a this was a washer that I had to bore out a little bit. Um, oh, what... Are, <laughs> The final straw on it was the very top where the Acme thread is, you can't see that, it's welded in there, it snapped. Um, I was trying to crank down on it to get everything to hold because everything was just always slipping. So this just snapped. I ended up uh, grinding this off, re-welding, and then welding that back on top there. So now... I mean, I'm not even going to really tighten it that much, and it's it's on there. Well, you can't really tell because it's not bolted to anything, but yeah, it's on there solid. Um, you probably can get away without the lug, but I didn't want to put all of the pressure on either of the two, just the lug or just the center. Um, now, let me show you... Take this off. Okay, now. Also, what I plan on doing a lot of is I have a two axle trailer and all four tires are bad so I have to do the trailer tires. So now bear with me for a second. So now this is a little different because 
it's a flat steel wheel. This is where you would rely on that um, star pattern thing to press it down and then press down on top of that. I plan on rising this up a little bit with a, a aluminum block on the bottom so that I can do a cone and just have the cone be big enough. There'll be an opening in the aluminum and the cone. Ah, I don't even know how I'm going to do it yet. Okay, so for this one, you're going to take... You just got two holes. Uh, simple as that. Figure all of the stress is going to be on the two lugs. And it's going to be as good as just pressing down on the center with that stupid thing that kept bending. So, take... Two lugs, and I just used the same. These worked fine. They're a uh, ball seat, so they work fine with the ball seat of the uh, trailer wheel. And then you just got two, and you crank those down all the way. I'm not going to get into it now, but you just crank those down all the way and really tighten them, and then. There you go. You're set. I mean, it's an extra step because you have to use a, a wrench instead of using or a socket instead of something like just unspinning the top. Oh, and then you would, rather than lever on here, you would still take this. Um, since I cut it short, it was really mangled on the bottom. It doesn't go all the way down. So I'll probably end up making a little bit of a bushing out of uh, what I had left. It actually, what I used was a, I think this was some kind of a conveyor roller, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I had bored it out and cut it. So I'll probably just make it a little bushing out of that just so I could slip that in there and crank this down tight. So Actually, yeah, I definitely have to do that because if not, I'll be putting stress up top here. Um, so, yeah, before I do anything, I'll cut like, a, you know, something like that and then have to bore it out to whatever it was and slip it under there. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, just It's definitely an improvement. I can, I can tell it's going to work better. The only thing I have to do now, I want to make... Um, just like the coat says, where you slip something over top. And I was using the uh, this thing. Um, it works really good. I would use it on this wheel, but if you're using on a good aluminum wheel, everyone knows this pretty much just scrapes down the inside of the wheel. Um, and it's, you know, it's not that great. I was going to try to pad this. Um, but I ended up buying that other um, the one that looks like it's mounted on a tennis racket, the, the standalone bead breaker, and it seems to work pretty good. I'm going to try to make a combination of the two and put that up top of here with a bar coming out, levering down with an arm up there. Because uh, if you look and see, this one was good, but... It's actually all mangled now. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm just going to fix it for now. Put a, put a reinforcement in between there and, and straighten these out. And, uh, and use it for what it is because it will work great for the, the trailer tires. But for an aluminum wheel, it doesn't work so good. And uh, for the aluminum wheels, I do have one of the uh, Nomar... Um, tire bars to with the nylon tip it works really good for not scratching any of the wheels um yeah so that's about it uh i'll probably put up another video once i get it set up like i said i can't i can't put it into the ground here i do have an idea um it's kind of pallet related but a little bit not i know everyone says not to put on a pallet but uh i have a little bit of an idea so uh, stay tuned, I'll probably post up another video. All right, thanks.